the massacre at Wounded Knee. December 29th, 1890. Located at Wounded Knee Creek, South Dakota. The Sioux Indians were surrounded by the 7th Cavalry Regiment. The cavalry's leader was Samuel Whitside. On December 29th, the U.S. Army's 7th Cavalry surrounded a band of ghost dancers under Bigfoot, a Lakota Sioux chief, in an attempt to disarm the tribe. A shot was fired, which caused a mass confusion and led to the cavalry to open fire on the Sioux. 25 cavalry men were killed, and about 150 Indians were killed, including women and children. Before diving into the details of the massacre, let's look into who the Sioux Indians were. The Sioux or Little Snake Indians were divided into many groups. The major one that we will be studying is the Santee Sioux Indians or Eastern Sioux Indians. They lived around Lake Superior before the middle of the 17th century, but were driven away into the Teton and Yaton territory due to warfare with the Ojibwa tribe. The list led to the Santee Indians, who were known to be very violent, to push the Teton and Yankton Indians into what is now North and South Dakota. They also were known to raid other tribes frequently, including the Mengden, Arkara, Hindatsa, and Pawnee tribe. This led to many of these tribes allying themselves with the U.S. military against the Sioux, which is what started the tensions that eventually led to the massacre. But why did the cavalry show up in the first place? It began with the ghost dance movement. Wovoka, who was a shaman of the northern Paiute tribe, had a vision one night during a solar eclipse. He claimed that God came to him and revealed a land abundant with love and peace. After the vision, Wovoka founded a spiritual movement called the ghost dance. <laughs> the name Sioux comes from the Ojibwa tribe, which is an abbreviation for Narosu, meaning adders or little snakes. This scared the U.S. government since more tribes started to join this ritual, so they sent down the cavalry. The ghost dance was very appealing due to the promises that Wovaka claimed. According to Wovaka, the ghost dance religion promised the following five things. 1. The coming of a messiah. 2. The disappearance of all people of European descent from North America. 3. The return of large buffalo herds. 4. The return of the lifestyle that they supported. And 5. Reunion with the dead. The key people that you need to know for the massacre at Wounded Knee are Samuel Whiteside, who is the leader of the 7th Cavalry that raided the Sioux, Sitting Bull, who was the Sioux chief that was mistaken as a ghost dancer and killed as a result, and Bigfoot, who was the chief of the group of dancers that was fired on by the cavalry. To summarize the massacre at Wounded Knee, it occurred on December 29th when the Army's 7th Cavalry surrounded a group of Sioux Indians. As they were taking their weapons, a shot was fired. It is unclear who fired the shot, but a brutal and unnecessary massacre followed. It is speculated that the 7th Cavalry was getting revenge for their defeat at Little Bighorn. Europeans and Native Americans have always had conflict, especially regarding land ownership. Their different views toward this ended up launching the Indian Wars. Even though the battle at Little Bighorn started the ending of these wars, Ravoka really triggered one last wave of resistance towards the Europeans, which was the impact of the massacre at Wounded Knee.